Croatia, one of the world's oldest and smallest countries, which has given our world much of technology and innovations we use today. How it all came to be and who are the champions of these endeavors? Let's find out starting in alphabetical order from A to Z. Andrija Mohorovicic was a Croatian meteorologist and seismologist. He is best known for the eponymous Mohorovicic discontinuity or MOHO, and is considered as one of the founders of modern seismology. He concluded that when seismic waves strike the boundary between different types of material, they are reflected and refracted just as light as when striking a prism and that, when earthquakes occur, Two waves the longitudinal and transverse wave propagate through the soil with different velocities. By analyzing data from more observation posts, Maharavirchich concluded that the Earth has several layers above the core. He was the first to establish, based on the evidence from seismic waves, the discontinuity that separates the Earth's crust from its mantle. Maharavirchich's theories were visionary and were only truly understood many years later from detailed observations of the effects of earthquakes on buildings, deep focus earthquakes, locating earthquake epicenters, earth models, seismographs, harnessing the energy of the wind, hail defense and other related elements of the geological body of knowledge known as geoscience. Crater Maharavirchich on the moon's far side is named in his honor. A gymnasium in Rijeka, Croatia, and in 1996 asteroid 8 Anton Lurcic or Anthony Francis Lucas was an American, Croatian-born oil explorer. With Patillo Higgins he organized the drilling of an oil well near Beaumont, Texas, that became known as Spindletop. This led to the widespread exploitation of oil and the start of the petroleum age. In 1893, Lucas started to work in the area of salt exploration for a New Orleans company. He worked in this area until 1896, gaining experience that led to his promising idea of the possible relationship between the salt deposits and the sulfur in the tertiary sediments of the Gulf Coast region. Most geologists disagreed with Lucas' theory. However, as a result of explorations undertaken and his experience, he was the foremost expert on these formations in the United States. Drilling of Spindletop Hill began in late 1900, but was extremely difficult. At the depth of 60 meters, a layer of sand was found. The new rotating hydraulic drill collapsed upon reaching a depth of approximately 275 meters. And after reaching the depth of 370 meters on January 10, 1901, natural gas erupted followed by a stream of crude oil reaching 60 meters in air. The eruption lasted nine days and was stopped by one of Lucas's devices. The device known as Lucas Gusher, produced around 100,000 barrels of oil a day. Spindletop became the largest gusher the world had seen. The frenzy of oil exploration and the economic development it generated in the state became known as the Texas oil boom. The United States soon became the world's leading oil producer. Anton Lurcic is considered to be the founder of modern petroleum engineering. He later served as a consulting engineer in Romania, Russia, Mexico, Algeria and other countries. A successful businessman and expert in mining, Anton was the lifelong chairman of American Committee for Oil and Gas. In 1936, the American Institute of Geological and Metallurgical Investigations founded the Anthony F. Lucas Gold Medal Prize for development in the area of oil exploration. A museum with a granite obelisk was built to honor the explorer, on which is inscribed on this spot on the 10th day of the 20th century, a new era in civilization began. A street and an elementary school in Beaumont, Texas bear his name.
Antonio Grosich was a surgeon, a politician and writer. In 1886, he became chief of the surgery division at the city hospital of Fiume. Grosich was among the first to use sterilization of the operative field and in 1908, tincture of iodine was introduced by Grosich as a way for rapid sterilization of the human skin in the surgical field. It was tested on a mass level during the Italo-Turkish War of 1912. For this reason he was awarded with the Order of the Crown of Italy, and become a world-known surgeon. A team of researchers at the pharmaceutical company of Pliva Croatia discovered azitromycin in 1980. Azitromycin is an antibiotic useful for the treatment of a number of bacterial infections. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines, the most effective and safe medicines needed in a health system. It is available as a generic medication and is sold under many trade names worldwide. Darko Pervan is a Croatian entrepreneur and innovator, founder of Pervanovo Group and Valinij Innovation A.B. In 1977, Darko Pervan was at the forefront of a team of experts who invented and commercialized the first laminate on his initiative. In 1993 he patented the horizontal joining of floor covering, so-called click system, which is used today in 92% of all such floors. In 1994 he founded the Swedish company Valinij Innovation AB. It is the world leader in the floor and furniture industry with 170 licensed companies and 1500 patents registered worldwide. Dragutin Gorjanovic Kramberger was a Croatian geologist, paleontologist, and archaeologist. In 1899 on Hushniak Hill, near the Croatian town of Krapina, he discovered a very rich Neanderthal site of an early man today known as Krapina Man. News of the discovery quickly spread all around Europe and beyond. Gorjanovic continued extensive scientific research of osteological human material, fauna, ecological conditions, and the life and culture of people once living in Croatia. While analyzing the finds, he noticed unusually big variations among the bones. With time he realized that evolution was the source of variability which created human individuals of different stature. His analysis and interpretation of fossil remains proved the existence of early humans which he called Homo primigenius, an ancestor of modern man. Later on those finds were classified as Homo neanderthalensis. Goyanovich Kramberger's research helped prove the theory of evolution of human species, and his theories have influenced the social view of the world. He developed a technique that analyzes the fluorine in bones to calculate their age. In 1895 he used newly discovered x-rays to analyze inner bone structure. Results of his research related to the finds at Krapina could be found in the monograph on the diluvial man of Krapina, which was published in 1906. The publication was the most comprehensive work ever written in the area of the paleontology of man. Gorjanovic Kramberger published more than 230 papers in Croatian and international journals during his career. Faust Vrancic or Fausto Varanzio was a polymath, inventor and bishop. As a youth, Varanzio was interested in science. Still a child, he moved from Šibenik to Venice, where he attended schools, and then to Padua to join the university, where he focused on law, physics, engineering and mechanics. At the court of King Rudolf II, at the Hradecheny Castle in Prague, Varanzio was Chancellor for Hungary and Transylvania, often in contact with Johann Kepler and Teho Brahe. Varanzio's masterwork, Machine Nova, contained 49 large pictures depicting 56 different machines, devices and technical concepts. This book was written in Italian, Spanish, French and German. 
There Varanzio wrote about water and solar energy, the universal clock, several types of mills, agricultural machinery, various types of bridges in various materials, machinery for clearing the sea. A dual sedan traveling on mule, special coaches, and home overlands or the flying man, a forerunner of the parachute. His work included a portable boat, that is to say a boat that, thanks to the same energy as the current may go against the river. It was his idea to use the printing rotary principle in order to alleviate the great difficulty of printers and improve results. His design pictures were even reprinted and published in China. Ferdinand Kovacevic was an inventor, expert writer, a pioneer of Croatian telegraphy. He invented a number of improvements to the telegraph system, so in 1872, his improved telegraph apparatus was introduced in the entire Austro-Hungarian monarchy. In 1874, Ferdinand invented the duplex and quadriplegic telegraphy that enabled multiple messages, two or four to be transmitted over a single wire, thus advancing Morse's invention of the electronic transmission system. He published several scientific papers in Austrian, German and Swiss magazines. Gochovic also published three books on electrical engineering in German and one in Croatian. Franjo Hahnemann was a renowned Croatian chemist and metallurgist, inventor of the first economical electric bulb with metal threads. After graduating, he went to Vienna, where he got a diploma from the chemical department of the Technical College in 1899. In the following year, he met Dr. Alexander Jasta, a scientist who was also interested in working on the improvement of a metal filament lamp. Their invention of the tungsten thread burners was also used in the advancement of early diodes and triodes, while still in the form of vacuum tubes since the tungsten carbide has better properties than the carbonous fern that has been used up to that time. Giovanni Lupis or Ivan Vakic was an officer of the Austro-Hungarian Navy who developed the first prototypes of the self-propelled torpedo. In the middle of the 18th century, an officer of the Austrian Marine Artillery conceived the idea of employing a small boat carrying a large charge of explosives, powered by a steam or an air engine and remotely steered by cable to be used against enemy ships. Upon his death, before he had perfected his invention or made it public, the papers of this anonymous officer came into the possession of Captain Giovanni Lupis. After numerous experiments and many prototypes, this design finally performed well enough. He nicknamed it Salva Cost, Italian for Coast Saver. In 1860, after Lupis had retired from the Navy, he managed to demonstrate the design to the Emperor Franz Joseph and it was a success. But the Naval Commission refused to accept it without better propulsion and control systems. In Rijeka in 1864, the mayor introduced Lupis to the British machine engineer Robert Whitehead with whom he signed the contract to develop the torpedo further. On 21 December 1866 the first automobile torpedo was officially demonstrated in front of the Austro-Hungarian State Commission and accepted. Giovanni Lupis was given the noble title of Baron von Rama, the sinker. John Arthur Mishkovich was an American-Croatian inventor and gold miner a pioneer of many hydraulic mining technologies. He has patented more than 300 patents, most notably the Intelligent. A water cannon used for hydraulic gold mining, later for firefighting and for riots. Mishkovich has perfected hydraulic lifts that are used for offloading freight cargoes. He also filed a patent for a firefighting system for airport runways. The system is installed underground, and in case of fire it rises up and rotates both horizontally and vertically. Josip Belusic was a Croatian physicist, mathematician, inventor of the velocimeter. 
The first presentation of the device was carried out in Trieste, 1887. His device measured the speed of the vehicle, the time of driving and standing of the vehicle, the number of passengers carried and the time of entry and departure of passengers. Belushich's device is the forerunner of electrical speedometers, taximeters and tachographs. Unfortunately, Josip Belushich disappeared after 1900. It was not known where or when he died, nor how his invention was completed. Juan Vucetic was a Croatian-born Argentine anthropologist and police official, who pioneered the use of fingerprinting. In 1891 Juan began the first filing of fingerprints based on ideas of Francis Galton which he expanded significantly. He became the director of the Centre for Dactyloscopy in Buenos Aires. In 1892 he made the first positive identification of a criminal, in a case where Francisca Oyaz had killed her two children and then cut her own throat trying to put the blame on the outside attacker. Argentine police adopted Vucetich's method of fingerprinting classification and it spread to police forces all over the world. He improved his methods and in 1904 published Comparative Dactyloscopy. Leo Stenbach was a Polish-Croatian chemist who is credited with discovering benzodiazepines, the main class of tranquilizers. He received his master's degree in pharmacy in 1929 and his doctoral degree in organic chemistry in 1931 from the university in Krakow. In 1937 he moved to Vienna where he worked with Wolfgang Joseph Pauli and Sigmund Frankl. After he worked with Leopold Ruzicka at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich. In 1941, he moved to the United States to work at pharmaceutical company Hoffman La Roche. While working for the company, Stenbach did significant work on creating new drugs, one of which was Valium. It became astonishingly popular between 1969 and 1982. It was the most prescribed drug in America. Stenbach held 241 patents, and his discoveries helped to turn Roach into a pharmaceutical industry giant. He did not become rich from his discoveries, but he was happy, he treated chemistry as a passion. He is present in the New Jersey Inventors Hall of Fame, and was inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame in February 2005, a few months before his death.